my beautiful witches, blessed be. This is Y Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. I am so excited to be here today. I have a video for you. It's a tutorial. It's a tutorial. And I really hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy it making it for you. And I really hope this empowers you. And this ignite some type of ideas in your head for you to do your own magic. The whole purpose of me being here every Monday is to give you ideas and help you developing your witchcraft, your witch path. It makes me so happy. It gives me so much satisfaction to be here and being able to help you even if it's just a little bit. If it's just a little bit, my entire life is just perfect. I have a lot of things to share with you guys today. And the first thing that I want to say before I go ahead with my video, I want you to know, witches, that your love is felt so deep in my heart. Your presence in my life is such a big deal. I appreciate so much every single message that you guys send me. Even the ones that I don't agree too much with, I still know that I reach somewhere. But I want you to know that your presence in my life is so important for my happiness. It's just I truly, truly honor you guys, every single one of you guys. And uh, this past week, and I was waiting until today to share this with you, one of you guys sent me this package with all these seeds. I don't know how to put into words how grateful I am in the bottom of my heart for all these details that some of you guys take uh, for me. I'm not gonna say your entire name, but Jeannie, I want you to know that these seeds are so very special for me. Um, I am reading a book right now, which is that I highly, highly recommend. I'm going to be doing the review next week. And in that book, we talk about gardening and things that are very important for your spiritual life, uh, it's particularly when you're gardening. And these seeds are going to be part of my garden. I cannot wait for spring to come. I cannot wait for me to plant these seeds and have my beautiful garden with some of your seeds. I am so grateful and I am so honored for this detail, for you taking the time to send me this package with these seeds. This makes me so very humble. Jeannie, thank you from the bottom of my heart. This means the world to me. This is so, so awesome. Thank you so much. The next thing that I have to tell you, which is, is that tomorrow is the 1st of February, which is what? my birthday. So I'm going to turn 52 tomorrow. I don't know. You know, I'm on my fifties now. So every year that passed by is just another year. So I stopped counting already, but I'm really excited. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm off from my mundane work and I'm going to spend a really good time with my man and Charlie. And I'm super excited for my birthday tomorrow. On the same token, which is do not forget that tomorrow is the first. So if you are working with Lady Fortuna, tomorrow you need to light her candle. Very important. If you are choosing 2022 to be your year of prosperity, make sure that tomorrow you light the candle for her. Remember what we talk about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video on this topic here on my channel. Also, which is tonight. Let me see. Let me grab my handy dandy Llewellyn almanac. So tonight at 12.46, Llewellyn put the time in their uh, almanacs. It's Eastern time, so it's my time. I live in Virginia. I shared that with you guys before. But tonight at 12.46 a.m., the moon is going to turn dark. It's the new moon. So if you are making death oil, Tonight is the night that you need to put that oil outside. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please check my videos. I may link it in the description of this video. We make a death oil together. And I talk to you about what this oil is good for. Okay? So if you are in the planning of making death oil, 
Tonight, even if you don't have any ingredients, put a bottle of jojoba oil outside under the moon because tonight is the new moon. Tonight is the dark of the moon. So please make sure that you put your oil outside tonight. Now, just because you share so much love with me, which is on my last video last Monday, I told you that I was going to have a giveaway and I was going to give to you guys this Marry Me candle. I told you the rules of the contest and to my surprise, only one person, only one person came out with the correct answer. And listen, a little bit of a drum roll. Erin Salinas, you are the winner of this candle of Marry Me. And just because you followed to the T the instructions on how to win this candle, I'm going to add some additional little things in the package that I'm gonna send to you. I am so excited that you got this candle. I've been thinking about giving away this candle for so long. I made this candle like a year ago, and I am so excited that you are getting this candle. I'm going to definitely charge it for you, and I'm also going to to add some stuff into your little package. Please make sure you watch your emails because I'm going to contact you with some instructions uh, for you. I'm gonna need your address and whatnot and I'm really super excited to be sharing this with you. Next, which is in, this is the last thing that I'm gonna share with you before I go ahead into the video. I am super excited that I received this book from Denise Alvarado. I'm going to talk to you guys about this book maybe in the next video. Next Monday, I'm going to be doing the review of a book that I really love a lot. And I may be adding a little bit on this book. This book is pretty awesome. I'm really excited to have. So I'll be talking to you guys about this book next Monday. Now, which is the video that I did last Monday was all about seven day candles. It was all about, about candles, a lot about candles. And I received a lot of emails after that video. Understand, which is that I cannot tell you what the popping in your candle means. Only you know your circumstances. I cannot tell you you got popping is because your petition is going to come to fruition. I cannot tell you that. This was the whole purpose of the video that I did last week for you to get some type of idea of what things that happen when you're burning your candle could possibly mean spiritually or in a mundane way. So please make sure you use your intuition when it comes to read your candles. Some of you guys were confused. I understand that. Magic could be extremely confusing. But when magic is confusing, it's still trying to tell you something. You need to sit down, regroup, and really analyze your situation from every single corner. Because there's always a message behind what you see. Taking into consideration all the questions that I got from last video, I wanted to share with you today how I make this beautiful double cross candle. We get the double cross in here. In the back, I'm gonna have the picture of the person that I'm double crossing, but I'm gonna show you how easy and simple it is to make your own seven day candle. Okay, which is, so what I did was in one of the white seven day candles that I bought in probably Walmart for less than $2. Uh, I got some much Pudge and I printed a copy of the double cross label that I have in my oils. You don't have to do this. You can totally just draw this in a piece of paper. Uh, you don't have to photocopy anything, but I photocopy the label of my oil. Uh, once you put a lot of much Podge in the back, and much Podge is nothing more than just Elmer glue with some water. Uh, once you much Podge that into the candle, then you go with a little uh, brush sponge, and you're going to add more much Podge in top of the paper. I love the finishing of much Podge is raw. It looks really, really good. So I'm a big fan of this. Uh, my man was 
telling me the entire time that I was doing this that I could have done this with a just a uh, giant sticker. But the truth of the matter is that I love the look that Much Butch gives candles in anything that I use Much Butch on when the Much Butch is uh, dry. I really love using Much Butch. It's very easy, which is, and again, if you don't have a copy machine like I do, a printer like I do, you just draw it yourself. Two big X's and that will be perfect. If you do not have a printer like me, if you do not want to go to a place in which you can get a copy, it's very simple, which is sit down and write with your own hands what you want. You do not have to have a fancy drawing in your candle for your candle to work. You know what? There is something so satisfying, which is about making your own things from scratch. Obviously, I did not melt this wax, even though I spent all my day yesterday experimenting with candles. But you can buy a seven-day candle in Walmart right now. You can buy the seven-day candles in Target, and they're extremely economic. They're usually $2 or less. And let me tell you something, which is that is extremely cheap because I tell you what, wax is not cheap, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm going to leave it there. Good wax is not cheap. So buying a seven-day candle for less than $2 in a place like Walmart or Target is 10 out of 10. A dollar store is 10 out of 10. You can get your candle completely clean with nothing on it and when in doubt which is if you don't know what color you need you're going to get a white candle white could be used for any workings what matters is your intentions and what matters is the ingredients that you add into this candle you don't need to go to a botanica you don't need to go to etsy you don't need to go to eBay, you don't need to go anywhere, Amazon, to buy a seven-day candle already with a title on it. You can buy a clean candle and you can put the title yourself, which is yourself. If you do not have the ability of going into a place and getting a copy of the drawing that you want in front of that candle and the picture of the person, by all means, you can do your own drawing. If you're going to do a double cross candle, you can do a drawing with two X's and that will be your double cross candle. The idea behind all this is, which is that I want to empower you for you to do your own spells, for you to do your own things. By all means, if you want to buy them from somebody because you like the fact that you're buying this from somebody else, go for it. I am the first one to tell you that I spent about $65 in this candle from Lady Rhea because she made this beautiful candle and I need to have it. But if you don't have that amount of money to spend on candles, if you really, really need your spell right away, watch this video because I'm going to tell you how to do it yourself. So now that I have the candle over here, which is there's a few things that I want to address. What are we going to put in this candle? This booklet has fantastic recipes for you to do your own candles. Another wonderful book and a person that I absolutely love from the bottom of my heart and I hope one day I meet her is Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea has this beautiful enchanted formulary in which you can have different recipes for you to dress your seven day candles. This is a great book for you to get witches. It's the Lady Rhea Enchanted Formulary. So now that I gave you these two books that have some ideas on how you can prepare your own candles, and now that I told you how I did my beautiful double cross candle, what else are we going to do? Well, I have my double cross candle over here. In the back, I have the picture of the person that I am working. Also, on the side, I'm not going to show you the front of this paper because there's a picture of the person, but I have the picture of the person that I'm intended to work. All right? So, I have the reason of my candle, the purpose of my candle, and in the back, I have the picture of the person. Top of his picture, I put, I'm double-crossing you, two crosses, 
two X's and in the bottom I also put the person's name. So here's a picture of the person that I'm working. I am going to put the candle right in top of it, right? Now which is something really important and that we need to take into consideration is how harsh are we going to work the person, the target of our spells. Okay, a lot of people always write me emails and they want to do something extremely, extremely harmful for a situation that did not deem such a harsh punishment. When you're doing a double cross, you're sending bad luck to the person. You're crossing their days. Salas a la persona. You salt the person. In Spanish, we say, te vamos a salar. Estás Salao. <laughs> That's how we say in Spanish. And what that means is that everything you do just does not work out. It's like just having a bad day. It's like everything goes tipsy turvy. You need to analyze the harshness of your punishment, which is because trust me when I tell you that anything that is not justified will come back and bite you in the and that is something that I have told you a hundred thousand times. It's not the same the person that is slandering you at work or the person that is being mean to you at work or whatever it is. That is not the same as somebody that actually murders somebody else. Do you know, understand what I'm saying? So please make sure that when you are utilizing any of these products that I'm going to talk to you guys about today, you know how to use them. If you're doing a double cross candle, you are jinxing somebody. You're not cursing someone. You are adding a jinx to that person. You are salting that person. You're crossing that person. Everything that that person needs to happen is just not happening. It's cross. You understand? So if I want this person that I'm doing this spell for, this jinx for, to be cross, I want this person to have extremely bad luck in the weeks to come. I want this person to feel low, okay? Well, I'm going to add a little bit of sulfur into this candle because I want to be slightly mean to this person. I want this person to feel down and not only being cross, but I want this person to really, really feel down. So sulfur is a good way for you to add that feeling into the person. Now, Another thing that I'm going to add to this candle in my particular case, since I am jinxing this person and crossing this person in the weeks to come, you know what? I also want to do confusion oil because I want this person to feel confused in their head. I don't want them to be able to think on how to resolve their problems. I want her to feel extremely dumb. Another thing that I'm going to add into my candle is going to be, obviously, the double cross oil. This is going to reinforce the jinx that I'm sending to this person. In my website, which is, I have some things that are extremely harsh, and I have some things that I have put big warnings in the description of each product. I'm going to start right now by the highest and most baneful and terrible substance that I have in my website. And that's going to be my gopher dust. Please do not take this dust lightly. This is a very, very serious, harmful, I am annihilating you type of powder. Gopher dust is going to add physical harm to the person that you're working. So please make sure you do not play with this. Don't be thinking that since you're new at witchcraft, you don't think your magic is going to work. So let me grab the strongest thing that is out there to do my magic because as it is, it may not work. Do not play with this because what's going to happen is that if this works for you, you're not going to be able to have that credit to pay the universe the debt that you just took. And I'm trying to explain myself as best as I can for you to understand the harshness and how important it is that you know what you're adding into your hexes and into your jinx. Gopher dust has no place in a simple jinx. After that, 
one of the nastiest ingredients that you can add into any spell is your Dumi, Doom, or Dume powder or oil. I have had people asking me or telling me that they're not only going to use the gopher dust, but they're also going to do a Dumi oil or Dumi powder candle. Please, witches, you do not need to do so many things at one point. Understand that if this spell goes beyond intended, chances are you're not going to be able to compete with what's coming for you. Unjustified magic will come back and bite you in the butt. Please make sure you're very responsible when you're doing your magic. Powders like gopher dust and powders like dume dust are intended for truly, truly evil people. In my website, after all those two dusts, you're also going to have the damnation powder. Damnation powder is to create some type of hex into a person. If a jinx does not work for you, then you're more than welcome to try a damnation powder. That's going to be more physical harm. That's going to be more spiritual attacks. We're talking about maybe even accidents. So please be careful when you use your damnation powder. These things are intended to inflict seriously nasty pain accidents and things into the target of your spell do not play with this another theme that i love that i have in my website is the hexum oil hexum is intended to anchor hexes into your target when you use hexum anything you demand anything you want any curse that you're doing is going to be anchored into that target Whenever you're using the Dume powder, whenever you're using gopher dust, whenever you're using damnation powder, this is a great oil to combine with any of your candles. <sighs> Last but not least, Hell's Devil's Oil. This oil is absolutely amazing for you to send terrors into the person that you are working. If you want this person to feel guilty, if you want this person to have night terrors, nightmares, visitations from ugly beings, spiritual beings, this is the oil that you want to use. So we created our seven day candle. You have the picture of the person that you are cursing. You want to put that candle right on top of that picture. I already told you that I want this person to feel stupid, to have a no ability to think things true. I want this person to feel extremely, extremely stupid. There's some feelings in here, which is... So you don't have to put a lot of oil in this candle. Please make sure that you're very careful when you put all these oils. We talked in our last video on how you can drown your wick in a candle and then it's not going to burn properly. So you just put a couple of drops in your candle of the confusion oil, if that's what you want. Obviously, I'm going to put the double cross oil couple of drops also in the candle. When it comes to the double cross, since I have it here in my finger, I'm going to put it in the picture that I have in the back. Whew, that took some from me. Now, I'm going to add just a hint of sulfur. Remember that sulfur is flammable, so you just need just a little sprinkle. Remember, which is that the more stuff you put in your candle, inside the candle, the more you take the risk of your candle either drowning, stopping burning, or not burning properly. So just be very mindful when you're adding all those ingredients inside your candle. I already put those three things in my candle. I put a couple drops of confusion oil. I put a couple of drops of the double hex oil. And just because I want this person to feel really low, I put some sulfur on it. Now, what are you going to do with the picture that you have of the person? Well, I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to cross the person. So I'm going to draw two X's in top of the face of the person. And I'm also going to Put the five drops, one in each corner and one in the middle. 
That is called a cuenca. I am grounding this jinx into this person. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to smear the confusion oil in this person's head. And I'm thinking about the way this person is thinking. His thought process is going to be completely messed off with this jinx. All right, which is next, I have the candle over here. We're going to put the candle in top of your picture. And please be very careful with this. You are going to sprinkle some of the sulfur around the candle. All right, which is so last week we spoke about the week of the candle. This candle week is extremely long. So I am going to trim the wick of this candle. Remember that the wick of your candle should be at least one quarter of an inch. When you are ready to send this jinx through, when you are ready and you feel it in your skin, because your skin is going to burn witches, you got to charge yourself with your intentions. And you have to be extremely aware of what you're doing. You have to understand what you're doing. Because the universe does not understand language. The universe is going to understand your vibration. So make sure you are in tune with that anger, with that hurt, with that pain. Is this person hurting you? Is this person doing something unjustifiable against you? If this person is being a bully... Whatever it is, the reason why you're making the scandal, make sure you feel it in your skin. And once you do that, you light your candle. And here you go, witches. Your double cross has begun. Hmm. This candle should burn for the next seven days. Obviously, when I'm not attending this candle, this candle is going to be off. Lucky for me, I work from home, so I'm going to be able to see this jing works all the way through. Now, if by any chance during the time that you're burning this candle, if you're doing a jinx for somebody, you're burning this candle, the person is acting even worse, you feel like it's not working, then by all means, add some of the oils or add some of the powders that are harder in magic and turn this jinx into a curse and keep on burning your candle. The good thing about seven day candles is, which is that at the end of the burn, when this candle is completely consumed, you are going to have a message. You're either going to know if this took, or you're either going to know if you need to keep repeating this. It is extremely important, which is that you're justified when you're doing any type of jinxes. I really hope that the idea of making your own candles really help you out. A lot of the times we get really frustrated about the fact that we cannot get the candle that says all these things. Listen, which is you can make it yourself. If you want to buy it from a botanica, great. But if you don't want to do that, I can tell you this. There's a very nice pleasure about making your own jinxes all the way from scratch. I hope this helped you out. And I'm going to ask you one little favor, which is... Please, one little favor. If you're watching this video, if you want to help me with your energy, when this video is done, I just need you to say, so mote it be. And send that energy into this jinx. Because trust me when I tell you, this person deserves to be cursed with freaking gopher dust. I'm just being nice. I'm just being nice. Because, you know, we're all humans and we make mistakes. You can begin any seven-day candles for a curse on a Saturday. But if you need to begin this right away, begin it right away. I need to do this right away. I'm doing this in front of you, which is because I know in my heart, I know this, I know this, that your energy is going to serve this so quick. I may keep you posted. Maybe I'll keep this to myself. But I want to say thank you so very much because I know that some of you guys are going to send your energy my way. And that's it, which is thank you so very much for your support. Thank you for being here every Monday, Monday after Monday after Monday. Remember to visit my social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Remember to visit my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. I am so honored of your response to all my products and all the things that I have in there. Trust me when I tell you, I have so many plans for the website. 
Email me if you have any questions, layerofthewitchayahoo.com. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you like what you learned today. Email me any questions, any suggestions that you have for the channel, if you have specific spells that you want me to share in here with you. I'll be more than happy to do that, witches. It is very important that you stay smart, witches. Knowledge is power. But above all, in this life, you must stay very wicked. No mercy for evildoers. No mercy. Bye.